Well, let's talk to Professor Vig. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> right? <laughs> You're back. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens. Mm. Ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor. <laughs> so much happened while you were away. I received a flurry of messages from Professor Black's house elf, Scrope. Scrope sent you messages? Yes. I thought it was odd, too. He asked me to meet him and then told me to take the toast. Why would you want to take toast? To a cave under the lake. That's where I found Richard Jackdaw's ghost. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? He was a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I went there, and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. <laughs> I love it. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, we're going, we're going. Right? The room is called the map chamber, by the way. And the portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. <gasps> Professor Rackham. I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them, and Jackdaw stole them from him. Oh, Problematic Peeves. Right. <laughs> you heard Professor uh, uh, Fig was like, oh, Peeves. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm like running down the stairs. I know, right? We are gonna get down these stairs one step at a time. It's kind of glitchy. I know. The way the lights are shifting. Safe travels, my young friends. Young friends? Well, thank you for your well wishes. Wait, where is Professor? Professor? Oh, there you are. Oh, what's going on with you? Keep up now, Fig. Right? What, you sure you okay? All right. Here we go. To think it was beneath us all this time. It was. Right under your noses. Right? Look at that. I know. Looks so cool. Mm -hmm. <gasps> I think I know what scene this is. I think this looks promising. Right? Yep. I'm right. Right. Oh, that's so cool. They called, remember you called it the map chamber, so apparently this is some sort of map. <gasps> oh, I think I know exactly what this is. It's about map. to be like a really pretty looking There's map. Hogsmeade. Yep. And over here, the Forbidden Forest. Mm. And of course, Hogwarts. It's magnificent. It yeah. is. Listen to the music. If only you were here to see this. Aww. Oh, his wife? Mm-hmm, Miriam. Hey, Professor Rackham. Hello, Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How do you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend. See now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability. Mm. The potential and power of which will unlock should you prove yourself worthy. 
the location of each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Mm. Trials that you must complete on your own. Do you recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vault in Gringotts? I do. You and your friend Charles spoke of the port key and of trials you'd created for one who could see traces of ancient magic. That's true. Precisely. Charles is another of the keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago really? in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until, perhaps, now. So, the passage from your ruins to Gringotts, everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, none of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not what trials the? themselves. The fact wow. that you have come <laughs> this far, however, bodes well. The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long mm. does not fall into the wrong hands. They will test your abilities, both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. Mm. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. Mm. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces. Traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Then, in the light of your considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Mm. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. That's so cool. Wow. Shall we have a look? I'm still not I know sure that, uh, how it's not far. Trasfig. Mm. You may have seen it yourself. I think I've seen it flying on a broom. So I think I think I have seen this. But like I said, it's only when I was flying on a broom. It looks familiar. Perhaps your young friend is more well-traveled than you might think. As your mentor, <laughs> the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. Hmm. Wait. Do you know anything about the tower? You said that you know that tower. What can you tell me about it? Not much, I'm afraid. Mm. I've passed it dozens of times. Mm -hmm. It's north of Hogsmeade. My recollection is that it seems abandoned. Clearly, however, the tower conceals more than meets the eye. Mm. Okay. I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Until then, be careful. And do not tell anyone where you're going. Okie dokie. See you, Figgy. Quest complete. Right? That chamber. Yay! Oh. How would you like to learn the knockback jinx flippendo? <gasps> Once you've completed the necessary tasks, come and find me in the greenhouse. Oh, okay. See, what was on the agenda? Let's look at it. Okay. So, oh, wow. Okay. So. So we completed everything. Yeah. Now these are all new trials. Yeah, Madam Kagawa Glacius? Did she send something? Mm -hmm. oh. It's time you learned, Glacius, the freezing spell. It is an efficient way to cool down a heated situation. But first, I will need you to complete a few tasks. Once you've done that, come and see me. Oh, okay, cool. So it means it's time to learn some new spells. And yes, I say let's learn these new spells. Um... So, what should I do first, Mata Kangawa or uh, Professor Garlic? Go to the list. Okay. We are going to our handy dandy trusty guy. So this is main quest. 
uh, uh, Percival uh, Rackham's trial. This is Madame Kagawa. Oh, this is Broom. So I need to fly to Hogsmeade Station. And then the other one is pop the balloons around the Quidditch pitch. Well, it looks like you got garlic's assignment first. So mm -hmm. I guess we could do that first. Okay. So for Professor Garlic, I need to use all three of the combat plants, uh, use them simultaneously together, and then I need to grow and harvest uh, flax weed. And then, okay, so we'll do that. So we'll do garlic first, then we can get flapango. Says uh, Professor Garlic wants me to field test Chinese chopping cabbages, a mandrake, and a venomous tentacula all at once. She also wants me to grow and harvest a fluxweed plant. Should I need any seeds or plants, I could visit the magic neat or dogweed in death cap. My field guide will not guide me through this assignment, but my map could still prove useful. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you won't have that gold thing? No. That's what that means? Yeah, so the compass oh won't tell me what's uh, what Where to, to do. Yeah. So what I'm doing real quick is that I'm getting rid of the exclamation points uh, in my in my folder because I'm actually my OCD is like going overboard. But you need to get rid of that. You need to get rid of that. And I'm pretty sure some of you guys are saying the same thing. You need to get rid of that. OK. And oh, wait, I missed something. Yeah. Go down. OK. Oh, Yes, Zonkos. Okay. And then for my outfits, this hat, that outfit. Okay. So I feel good about my life choices. And since I know I'm going to be doing some field tests, I mean, we might as well look the part, right? We might as well look the part. So here we go. Um, this jacket. I love it. It is so cute. But it's not the jacket I thought it was, but I still like it, though. Well, that's what's most important. And that actually fits nicely with that. And it fits nicely with this because those boots are everything. Looking sharp, Mr. Let's Play. Right? I'm trying. I'm trying. I have to keep up with you, you know, as they say. Okay. So now... Okay, cool beans. I do technically have a hat on, but it's invisible because, yeah. And I don't really think any of these hats fit this look personally. Not really. Oh, now I'm Alan from Jurassic Park. You can try that top row, third. Top row? Um, yeah. Here? Up uh, one. Here? Mm hmm Nah. Yeah. It's, uh, it's almost there, but not quite. No, no. So we're just going to continue to uh, keep everything invisible. <laughs> and maybe I could wear a scarf. Hold on. Nah. No scarf required? We'll try that first one. Let's see what it looks like. This one? Nope. Down. This one? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I like the jacket. Well, there it is. Milady has spoken. covers up some of the jacket design. This is true. This is true. Okay. So now, since we know we're going to be doing stuff for Professor Garlic, let's get back to the room of requirement really quickly. Because I know I have, uh, I've harvested some plants already. Yeah. Look uh, at this. Right? So warm and welcoming. Yep. There it is. First thing off the list. Didney, you, you, you. Oh, I'll take that. I'm gonna pick this up, put you on this because uh, I guess the fertilizer is like compost, like it helps it grow faster mm. from what I'm understanding. Okay, and. Like your own little. Yep, that, that is the beauty of this. Okay. So I don't think I have anything else. Hold on. Yes, I have all three of the plants. Um, and I need to go back to um, 
uh, Jane Pippins because I don't have the Thunder Brew and I don't have another potion, which I need. So now, you know, since we got to do fighting, let's go to the Forbidden Forest where all of the field testing can be done. Well, there you go. Right? Time to square up. Time to square up, exactly. Acquire all three combat plants and use them simultaneously. Let's do it. Okay. So there was a dug bog, there were spiders, but- You can't use it on those chickens? No, because those chickens- <laughs> <laughs> Those chickens are innocent bystanders in my chaos. But these bastards, I can use it on. Now, now, no need for name calling. I know, we're gonna use disillusionment. Um, and then when I need to, I'm gonna use Expelliarmus. I already have that activated, so let's sneak up real quietly. They don't notice that. And when did I set my traps? Was it lower or upper Hogsfield? One in Merlin. I heard something. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> Inside the Did it work? Yes, it did. Avoiding our problem. Slice a poacher duel as well. They're casting reductive. Oh, while well, they're doing reductive cool beans. Rebellion. So I'm going to need this. Okay. Oh, this is getting fun! Yes, it got real fun real fast. Oh my glob. Ooh, I unlocked some goodies. Revelio. And there is stuff to gain. Cool beans. I'm glad I actually did this. Right? And now I can return to Professor Garlic. No, no, go inside the tent. Oh, I know. I saw there was glowing goodies there. And so, because there are glowing goodies. And there's probably some in those other tents. Right? Ooh! There was an upgrade I could use. Cool beans. Wait, go back in? Wait, hold on. Go go back in where my love? To the tent there. Did you get everything? Revelio. Yep. Okay, there were a couple of other tents. Oh, I know. Uh, I think, oh, there's stuff up there. Okay. And then there's, oh, there's the enemies over there. There are enemies afoot? Yeah, there are enemies afoot. There's this. Uh, Micah, no. Mm -hmm. There we go. Horn clumps, you're coming with me. You cannot resist. Resistance is futile. There's nothing in here. Ooh, there are other Rebellion. enemies about. Oh, there are enemies over here. Oh, there are wolves. Okay, so let's once again, let's use Confrango and let's have a little fun with the pups, yeah? Here, boy. Akio. Confrango, defend us. Potato. There we go. Oh, oh, you tried to sneak up on somebody. That's for you, pup. Because I like you. Care for a hot dog? <laughs> Care for a hot dog. Rebellion. <laughs> okay. What else? Now, I know some of you might be saying, Micah, why don't you have your other spells unlocked so you can, you know... You don't have to be constantly pausing to switch back and forth between your spells. I know this, I am quite aware, but I am purposefully holding off until I get a few more spells. So, you know, because I keep leveling up and I'm like, oh, well, when I level up, then I'll just spread everything out evenly. Oh, don't be afraid, Mr. Deer. I won't hurt you. Come back, Bambi. What can you get? Go back. Oh. I should investigate. He See, even he needs to investigate. Right. Okay, what can I get? What do you mean, my love? We'll do Revelio. See what's in the area. Revelio. 
well, actually, there are things over here and enemies. And then we'll go inside the cave to investigate. Oh. But first, let's arm ourselves with Expelliarmus. And we'll use that. You know. Ah, let's go in Wands of Blaze and cover a bad This is almost doing it. Launch the enemy into another. If I had so much of a scratch on me, you'll be sorry. Oh, wow. Oh, launch an enemy into another one using Deposo? Mm -hmm. Okay, so Deposo. Okay. If it isn't Nora Treadwell's predecessor, is this your best Deposo? Oh, well. Kind of sort of worked. Stupid. Dog, stupid. This is oh, he keeps aiming at the, uh, the dude. Oh. Bad dog. Bad dog. There we go. Oh my. Right. And we'll take that. Cool beans. He left me some goodies. Lovely. Okay. Well, we have plenty of fur for, um... Oh, that's what you pick up? Yeah. When for... you kill the wolves? Mm-hmm. Hold on. Did I get everything? Yes, Looks yes, I did. Like. Okay, like. so now, oh, Moonstone over there, but we'll get it on the way back. Okay. Okay. What's that behind you? Oh. Behind you. Behind me? Just crates. Crates, but the deer is trapped. Oh, poor baby. Oh, what's this? Ooh, let's go. Let's go for a dive, you know, like you do, like you do. You should have brought the deer with you. Right? Oh. Okay. Little secret area. Nice. Cool. Crimson coat. Mm -hmm. And we'll just dive back in and just get out. Mr. De there you go, Mr. Deer. Mr. Deer, keep running. Keep, keep running, Mr. Deer. Mr. Deer, no, Mr. Deer. Oh, Lord. Mr. Deer. Okay. Bye, Mr. Deer. You'll, you'll figure it out. You're a smart one. He gonna be all right? He gonna be all right. <laughs> and then, okay. So I saw Moonstone. There it is. What? In that corner there. I yeah. I thought I saw. Oh. Okay. Let's. Revelio. Here. This is what I was saying. Um, or maybe it's inside the earth? Uh, I don't know any earth shattering spells other than this right here. Oh, uh, maybe. Revelio. Um, I'm really confused on how that works. Yeah, we're, we're not going to question it. We're not going to... Oh, there's more enemies over there. But I have to stay on task, right? Yes, return to Professor Garlic. Well, actually, let's do Madame Kagawa's thing first. Madame Kagawa and then Garlic. Okay, so here we go. Kagawa, so now I need to go to Hogsmeade Station, which is actually not that far away and then over to Professor Garlic. <laughs>